one more here. Ooh, that's that's deep one. And another one here. And look, this this is part of the story. You see all of this? This. Good morning internet, it is I think almost 8 o'clock in the morning and uh, welcome back to the channel. Welcome here in Lake Yoyoa in Honduras, where am I? Honduras. I wanted to leave early to, uh, today, but it's not raining hectically anymore, but still just a little bit. So I'm just going to wait it out a little bit, hopefully it will get dry. And when it does, I am going to ride towards the border with El Salvador, but um, I'm not going to cross the border today yet. So I want to stay somewhere in the mountains over here. So yeah, I'm just going to follow this road, I think. So it's not very far. I think it's only like 150 kilometers or something like that. So in that sense, it's good news. I can just wait out the rain a little bit and when it's dry, we go. There we go. <laughs> that was not so easy getting out there, but I made it. Oh. Things have turned a little bit muddy around here. Slippery. Okay, where am I going? I didn't put it in my GPS yet. Ah, let's hope it will clear up today. It has been raining every single night here. That's kind of the, the weather pattern here, apparently. Rain in the nighttime and then sunny during the day. So maybe it will just clear up later. And the sun is coming out. Woo. So are the potholes. <laughs> Have to be careful a little bit on this road. Road blocked, or can I pass? That's the question. Looks like people pass here. Oh, now it's really blocked. around this try to get around it this way it's a bit of a maze here but I'm sure I'll find a way It's busy in town here. Let's try this way. Oh, it's a 
bumpy ride. Oh, poor Alaska. Oh, it's another beating right there. So in this area, they're doing a lot of... Let me see if this is the place. The heat is... They're doing a lot of uh, traditional weaving around here. Hola! Buenos dias! <laughs> I can already hear the weaving going on, I think. Buenos dias, señor! Buenos dias! ¿Cómo está? Bien? Hola! Buenos dias! Oh, wow! Hola! <laughs> Buenos días. Yo. Increíble. ¿Cuánto tiempo para, para hacer uno de este? Para hacer un chiquito de es como media hora. ¿Media hora? Sí. Oh, es buen rápido. Pequeños. Sí, es que son pequeños. Ah, ok, ok. Sí. Este es un... Ah, yeah. Sí, este es un ah. pequeño. ¿Y el diseño ustedes hacen también? Sí, así es lo grande. Sí. Ah, yeah. ¿Y ustedes compran los materiales o también pintan este? Sí, nosotros lo compramos. Ah, ya. Yeah. Sí. Este lo aquí en nuestra comunidad. Ah, ok. ¿Quién enseñó a usted para hacer este? Nuestra tía. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, ellas aprendieron primero. Ah, es la profesora. Sí. Ah, entiendo. ¿Y ustedes trabajan aquí cada día? A veces, ¿Y dónde, dónde se vendan? En La Esperanza. Sí. Ah, y ahora viene otro sí. color. Ah, sí. Tienes que contar cada vez, ¿no? Sí. Solo así. Como seis de azul, um, seis de verde, no. Sí. Y 20 de... Ah, sí. Let's buy one of these. Which one, which one? ¿Podría comprar uno? Sí. Sí. Ah, wow. Ahí puedes escoger qué hermosa. Sí. Ay, me gusta este. Sí. Sí. ¿Cuánto vale? 40, ¿sí? 40. Muy bien. Adiós, chicas. <ríe> Suerte. I don't really know what I'm going to use this for, but uh, hola. Buenas. Buenas. Um, but um, yeah, I felt like I should buy something from them. So I'll just bring that with me. Maybe also get some something to drink maybe there's a small shop over here pulperia see if there's anybody in the shop usted es el dueño de la pulperia oh no ah el muchacho ah bueno si sí, me gustaría comprar algo para beber quizás si sí. Ah, aquí es la tienda. Sí. Ok, ok. ¿Qué es lo que es Ah, ya. Eh, una manzana. ¿Cuánto es? 12.
That was interesting to see, hey? I'm just going to explore this area a little further. I'm climbing another mountain. It's a little uh, steep in parts. And very bumpy. But I'm looking for some mysterious phenomena that can be found here. Somewhere here. Hola, buenas. Una consulta. Aquí en esa área hay los los uh, muy muy para abajo. Sí, por allá. Por allá. Sí. En el camino. O... Okay. Gracias. So what I'm looking for are some mysterious deep holes in the ground. Apparently they, they are up to 20 meters deep. And they're they're somewhere in this area, but just ask this guy. Una consulta. Aquí en esta área hay los. Uh, uh, es un círculo y para abajo hay como 20 metros de profundidad. Los hay aquí. ¿Puedo, puedo ver o no? Sí, hay, pero hay que. Tiene que sacar permiso a los dueños de terreno. Ok. Sí. Ajá. Aquí está uno, aquí, aquí en los hoyos se les dice. ¿Cómo se dice? Los hoyos, cerro los hoyos. Los hoyos, sí. Ahí hay vidrio de ese obsidiano. Con, ¿Continúa por acá? Sí, ahí nomás y tú das la vuelta ahí y le das para acá. ¿Y hay, hay un, una casa sí. donde puedo preguntar permiso? A la pulpería ahí. ¿eh? Ok, voy a preguntar. Ok, gracias. Right. I don't know if it's going to work out. If I can get permission to uh, to go there, but yeah, that's that's the name of the place, Los Hoyos. Ask again. Los Hoyos es por acá. Ah, hay gente aquí? No. <laughs> ¿Puedo visitar? Sí. sí. Ok, gracias. Ok. Ah, oh, he says it's fine. Just have to be careful not to ride into the 20 meter hole in the ground. Let's ask this person. Hola, señor. Hola, buenas. Una consulta. Aquí son los hoyos, o no? Sí, para que aquí son. Me gustaría ver los los. Buenas tardes. ¿Cómo está usted? Bien. ¿Con vacación? Oh, sí. Vengo de Holanda. De la... Es muy lejos. Sin moto. Y sí, me gustaría verlos, si puede ser. O... Está, son, son aquí. Están aquí. ¿O no? Está cerquita, solo pasa su casita. Ajá. Tengo cuidado con un alambre que me quito el palo. Tengo cuidado. Ok. Son abiertos. Sí. Ah. Nunca un animal o alguien. Sí, se han ido. Ah. Gente se ha ido. Ah, sí, peligroso. Con escalera o lazo. Ah. Ok. I think I got the right instructions. I have to go. 
past the house. On which side though? Por acá. Aquí. Okay. <laughs> okay. This way, I think. What a mysterious place. No, no, it's the right way. How where do I need to go? Ah! Ah, aquí! Okay, yeah! Okay. Past the house. And then, I have to walk a little bit through here, and then somewhere on the left. I just need to keep my eyes open and not actually fall into the the thing because it's dangerous let's see this is one I think already this is one and here is another one oh man okay this is not 20 meters but probably three or so there's another one See, here's one, also not very deep, and look, this, this is part of the story, you see all of this, this, one more here, that's, that's deep one, and another one here, so I'm now actually on one of the most mysterious places of Honduras and you get all these cylindrical holes everywhere in the ground here. Here's another one. Oh, this is a very deep one. Look. There's one more here. Oi, 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 oi. So this stick is about two meters, I would say. Ooh, that's probably five or six meters. Just right here, kind of in the middle of the path. See, and there's another one there. And there, and there, <laughs> and there. And nobody knows how all these holes got here. And well, some theories, I think, include some extraterrestrial forces oh this is another this is like 10 meters maybe i can't even see the bottom so anyway it's still a mystery how all these massive holes in the ground got here but one theory which seems to me the most likely one is that everywhere around here you find this this volcanic rock obsidian and see there's more here over here and here and this is more likely the key to unraveling the secret of these massive holes in the ground and this rock is obsidian which is a volcanic glass and this rock is very brittle so when you break it 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 gets all these super sharp edges everywhere so this rock was used to make um, arrowheads and spearheads back in back in the days so it is most likely that these holes in the ground are actually mines to mine obsidian to make these uh, spearheads and arrowheads by the Mayans, possibly. Or, I don't know, other people that used to live in this area. <laughs> it's probably dangerous walking around here because you don't want to disappear in one of those holes. Um, and it's just a random, random property over here won't be able to see this on on the footage because it just looks like a big black hole but yeah they're all most of the ones I see here they are at least four or five meters deep ten I don't know some apparently are up to 20 meters deep but uh, it's obviously impossible for me oh wow here Look, there's some really big pieces here of obsidian see all here it's just laying around on the ground here 
here as well. So yeah, it's not surprising that there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole. And here you just see the obsidian laying on the ground. Anyway, I am going to walk back to Alaska before I accidentally stumble into one of these things. But yeah, it's another one of those mysteries. We don't really know for sure what they are, who made them, when they made them. So a lot of questions remain unanswered here in these mountains in Honduras. Past the abandoned house. Through here. And there is Alaska. Adios! <laughs> <laughs> Very friendly people. Oh, not so friendly dogs. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Careful. Don't run in front of my tire. Okay. So, that was the mysterious place of the big holes in the ground. And well, I was planning to stay the night somewhere in this area in uh, La Esperanza, I think, that's the bigger town. But it's only 12.30 and I feel like I want to ride more. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to continue a little bit more towards the border with El Salvador and kind of stay in the last like proper town before the border. Because then in the next ride, then I can cross the border early morning and uh, also do some riding already in El Salvador. First I need to make my way back out of this area, which will take a little bit because these roads are eee, bumpy. Hola! <laughs> Everybody is so surprised to see me. This is quite a nice view over La Esperanza. That's the place where I thought I was going to stay the night tonight. But uh, I think I'll just continue. Well, El Salvador is on that side. But the border crossing I'm going to take is a little bit to that side. So that's kind of the direction I'm heading now. I am back in La Esperanza. So from here I'll just take the, the tar road. Or I assume it's going to be tar. I have arrived in Marcala and the border with El Salvador is about 40 kilometers from here still but this is uh, I think the last town so this will be a good place to spend the night. and that's all but that's all I need anyway um, yeah that was that was it for today it was my last full ride here in Honduras even though it wasn't really a, a big ride but um, yeah I just liked exploring uh, the mountains around La Esperanza a little bit and meeting some people seeing some mysterious holes in the ground so yeah what else can I wish for and um, yeah I'm excited to cross the border into El Salvador El Salvador is the smallest country in Central America. It is very small. I don't know exactly the uh, number of square kilometers, but it's tiny. So uh, I don't expect to be very long in El Salvador, but uh, I'm going to ride through it regardless. 
Um, so yeah, another border crossing ahead. Uh, but that will be in the next video. So really hope you liked this one. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video.